Okay, so one of the questions I often get asked is, do PBN links still work in 2022? Well, I ran an experiment, and you know I have to admit this this experiment I've not been running for the past three uh, three to four weeks. But this experiment I've been running since January 2022, and um, with this experiment, I wanted to see if PBN links will are still going to work after the Google product update and after um, the uh, uh, the, the, the latest May update in 2022, I wanted to see if the upcoming updates would affect PBN links because in the past, these up updates have had um, almost no effect on PBN links and I have used PBN links to a great degree of success on many of my test websites. Now, there is a reason why I do not use PBN links for my clients and this is what I'll get into in this video. But before I do, please hit like and subscribe. Um, I, I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, I'm talking about things on this channel that no other channel talks about. I'm, I'm giving you real information and the goal here is to help people um, do their own SEO or at least if they hire someone to do SEO, um, they don't hire a scammer. So what did I do? So I went ahead and I bought a bunch of Fiverr links. Yep, I went to, I went to Fiverr and I bought a whole bunch of um, Fiverr PBN links and I, I created two test websites and I would send the PBN links directly to um, both websites. Um, I had a third website that I'll talk about later on but I sent those links directly to um, those websites. Um, so I would buy like five dollars for 10 PBN links, I would buy five dollars for one PBN link, I would you know I would buy the links that they say this is these are like the best links ever and I would buy those links and would send those links to my website and I would look at how um, that you know that website was um, was was faring and what I didn't do was I would not use exact match match keywords which you should never use with PBNs anyways unless you know how good the PBN is um, so I, I never used uh, exact match um, keywords uh, I used naked URLs and I used branded anchor text. So, naked uh, text and or na naked URL and a brand and branded anchor text. And the benefit of doing that uh, is that you know, I've always been doing that before, and you, know, you, sh you should not have too many uh, exact match anchor text. I would send the PBN links to my homepage and to one of my service pages, um, and since these were ranked. These were, uh, you know, rent and rank websites. I just wanted to see how good, how good these PBN links were um, in 2022. So, here is what I found. Number one, um, after the product uh, update, um, none of my websites suffered. Um, after the Google uh, Broadcore update 2022, um, my my websites tanked. They, it would, they just explode. They, they just went from page one for many not so competitive keywords um, to not even existing. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, I waited for up to two weeks ago till the update stopped rolling out um, and I disavowed those links. After dis disavowing, the, uh, dis disavowing those links, um, uh, my, my, web start, my website began to recover um, but they're still not on page one like they were after, <clears throat> after the PBN links, after the update. Um, so what I've observed from looking at this was um, the PBN links do not work. But I did mention that there was one website, a, a third website, where which was not hit. And I was sending a lot of those PBNs to that specific website as well. Those PBN links were going there as well. So what happened was that I created the website and then with it, I created a similar website uh, in a web 2.0 uh, using Blogger. So I went and I created a Blogger website with the same, um, with the same name, with the same brand that I would, I would link the web 2.0 to my main website. Um, and I would send all the PBN links that I had to the web 2.0 and then I would have that directed to my website. 
Um, now this website did not rank. I did it did not get to page one. It, it, it came many of the keywords were on page two, and the vast majority of keywords were on page um, three and onwards. Um, and I have to admit the on-page SEO wasn't great as well. The on-page SEO was just as bad as it was on the two other websites because I wanted to test the power of the PBNs and to see if the if the PBNs were working. And after the update, this website was not hit. This website has still not been hit. Um, now, what's the takeaway with this? The so the takeaway is if, you, if you're going to buy cheap ass links from Fiverr, um, do not send them directly to your website. Send them to a web 2.0, create web 2.0 properties, create a Facebook page, maybe send the links to the Facebook page, but do not send them directly to your website because that will tank your website. Um, so I hope this, I hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. I have another exciting video coming out. Um, I think within the next day or two, which is, which is going to help a lot of people. Um, so feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.